Hello YouTube, welcome back to Panzer Corps with Lloyd and Joker, this time Barbarossa on Guderian, which means we have five turns less, so let's get going. Basically the same setup, except this time we really need to make sure we are fast, so I put a lot of overstrength on some units, especially artillery of course, uh, just making sure I can have devastating impact, but also as you can see some of the tanks, some of the units where I expect not to take too much damage early on. Not doing much to my infantry because they will take damage no matter what. Same approach here basically. Cleaning everything up. Pushing them out of the way so I can get across. And then hopefully... Destroy them on the second run, which didn't work out in this case. So that's a little bit of a problem. Still trying to figure out how to set this up the best because this infantry is not what I expected to still have. Ah, defense on the Stukan is the greatest thing, but at least I managed to get their scout out of the way. Moving my own scout out of vision range. And as usual, staying back in the south. Using some airdrop units here. moving stuff around but uh, as usual keeping things visible only in the north so I can have some early traps here with the Air Force and can control where the enemy Air Force will attack in the forest my uh, artillery is thankfully safe so now that I lured their Air Force out and I know where they are we can start taking them apart. Fortunately, I get a huge hit here by the uh, anti-aircraft gun. Very unlucky roll. Usually they don't do quite as much damage. So that's the overstrength on that fighter gun. Trying to get the most dangerous units out of the way first. Using my uh, weak fighter here to clean up. And constantly deciding to rather destroy units than try to damage them all. I really need to reduce their numbers. Pushing the uh, infantry out of the forest. Where they are of course very dangerous. Blocking access to my naval warfare ver there uh, because that anti aircraft gun could really do a number on that one. Then I'm going up against the anti aircraft gun. Uh, anti tank gun, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, not destroying it, but I can move up with my tank and take care of that. setting up my air force and still staying passive in the south the uh, enemy air force is not reduced enough for my taste these hits are somewhat normal I just hope they don't go too much for my uh, naval waffe there because that thing could take some major damage instead they go for my artillery here which is a major hit three points that's most of the overstrength gone and this light tank gets a lucky shot on my stud. Usually that wouldn't take that much damage either. So I'm getting a lot of unlucky rolls here. But you have to live with that. That's the light tank. I 
and my Panzerjäger doing what it's supposed to do. And I continue to clean up, hopefully a little bit. Cross 3 defense on a fighter is absolutely awesome. Now I need to take care of this anti-aircraft gun. That gave me so much grief before. And this time I decide for damaging them also they have to retreat. For the very simple reason that uh, if I don't do that I still have to worry about them. And I finally want to get a move on in the south because I... This is Guderian and I don't have all day. So um, we need to be a little bit more careful here. That we don't run out of time. Moving up. Trying to get this suppressed enough so my tank can actually do something. works out. And by the way, yes, I'm forgetting about that fighter down there, but I'm hoping he will go for some of my artillery there, which won't be too much of a problem. But nope, he goes for my Stuka, thankfully he doesn't do too much damage, and I damage him much more in return. Of course, the overstrength is gone, which is not ideal, but I'm Ludarian, I at least don't have too much of a prestige problem. So that wasn't ideal. I totally forgot that I didn't manage to damage that one guy. But it's not too much of a problem. Pushing those guys in the forest wasn't ideal, but it's not a big deal. And the fact that this guy decided to attack my Stuka gives me the chance to destroy him. This would have been a lot more devastating on Field Marshal since uh, my Stuka wouldn't have had as much experience. Which, meant, uh, which means that it would have taken a lot more damage. Taking the artillery out, so my infantry can have a go here. And now the way is finally clear. Pushing this guy up. So my Panzerjäger can have a go again. Here I'm guarding my tank in the forest by protecting this side with my Stug. Moving the other assets slowly forward. As well as my Falchimjägers. Enemy Air Force is still retreating. And we have this under control and managed so even completely without infantry. Moving my infantry up. Now my air force finally has some room to maneuver. We still have one turn in which they will repair. After that we need to worry a little bit again but uh, until then 
We have free reign here. Unfortunately, they did, did get a rugged defense here. They were completely suppressed, so they didn't do any damage to me, but they didn't take enough damage so I could have driven them out of the city. In the normal circumstances, that wouldn't be a major problem, since, of course, they have more than enough time. But in Godarian, something like that can be a little bit problematic since it's basically costing me one attack to finally get rid of that guy and yes I'm putting my truck in there on purpose to lure in an attack and force them to run into my artillery on Guderian you sometimes need to force the enemy to take damage on their turn and I completely forgot that that truck was visible thanks to the bunker and they also didn't think they had one repaired fighter already, but uh, that guy apparently was able to move in one turn to his home base and repair already. But uh, thankfully it didn't do too much, but again, losing overstrength on, on artillery, not a great thing. Still hammering the enemy artillery. Once that is gone, the bunker will not be a major problem. Doing a lot of work with just my tanks in the front line. Because I cannot wait for my infantry to move up. Need to keep going and do things as fast as possible. And thanks to my overwhelming numbers of artillery, I can actually afford to do that. Always sending my air force ahead, taking care to dig out and destroy enemy infantry and artillery to prepare for an attack that is coming up. I was already expecting this, but I didn't expect this light tank to be able to drive in from behind. So again, losing overstrength. All these little mistakes cost me quite a bit of prestige here. Moving in my uh, scout tank here to provide uh, mass attack bonus. Unfortunately, that didn't work out at all for me this time. Getting a lot of unlucky hits here. Thankfully, at least my efforts does good work. So it's time for my anti-tank units to do a little bit of work. But that hit from the T-34 was not a welcome thing. Attack on the tank. Nothing too great, but always useful. And already working on this town. Um, which is useful, because if I can clear this up, that opens up the bridge. means I can immediately move across here and already scout ahead. 
this other Falsch Mega is already blocking that other town from getting any reinforcements. And here I really need to start working on both the artillery and the anti-aircraft guns. I do not want any support forces here. My uh, cavalry should be safe, protected by two artillery right next to the bunker. So that shouldn't be able to do too much damage. And I finally need to be able to uh, take care of all the enemy air force. And again, taking a hit here from light tanks that I didn't see coming. At least this time uh, my attack on the T-34 went a little better. And miscalculated. Take f took five damage in return. But at least I did one point of damage on the bunker on their turn already. I don't think my uh, cavalry will be able to do too much to the bunker anyway, so that's not a major problem. And if I can force this guy onto the river, I should be able to take him out with the Stuka. Unfortunately, not getting a great hit here. And again, not taking it out. Only forcing it on the other side and not even this bomber can finally take it out, so... Again... Not very lucky here. That could be very dangerous for that scout. Thankfully, it's just an auxiliary one. And that artillery is finally gone. And so is the yeah, anti-aircraft gun. Moving in my anti-tank units down there. Yeah, this is what I meant. Thankfully, this is an auxiliary. And my regular infantry is holding up much better than that cavalry. Anti-tank units will be able to take care of Brest. No problem. And here I'm trying to get rid of this uh, light tank. But unfortunately, again, my bombers don't do the greatest bit of work here. Moving my uh, Panzerjäger into position in case that guy decides to go back on the river. Which is probably unlikely, but... Um, we'll see what we can do there. Trying to dig out the town. That fighter moved in to a position where I didn't expect that much reinforcement. So that guy is now, yeah, not in the best of positions. A lot of anti-aircraft fire there. But uh, let's see what we can do. Falchimega is working without artillery support, but with mass attack bonus, they do the job anyway. Opening up another bridge. And the scout can take the town. Again, the tanks bypass the cities, weaken them. And the infantry takes stuff in the back. And yes, my uh, fighter is making a major pounding here. Still letting the bunker attack into me. This time I move on the river, but with artillery protection. 
If that infantry actually decided to come out of the town to attack my anti-tank unit, that would be very good. Because I'd be able to take them out on the river and wouldn't actually have to cross. Well, there's a lot of artillery fire that my infantry can take here, but I need to protect my Sturg, otherwise my tank is gonna be vulnerable. Already trying to weaken at least one of the artillery so my infantry doesn't get completely taken apart. And here again, taking one of these dangerous units out so my tanks can pass this area without being in danger of getting hit. Fajmega is moving in to do the infantry work. Getting some additional attack values while doing so, which is always welcome. Scout already moving in to take a look. Too dangerous for it to go ahead, but the infantry is moving in and the tanks already move ahead. No need for them to take the town. Well, I do it with one. Could have done it with the infantry. Should have actually moved that one as well. three artillery to, protect, to uh, suppress this guy and finally we're getting it to the point where uh, I can move my cavalry in again because at this point it won't be able to do that much damage anymore and still working on digging those uh, conscripts out thankfully this artillery is focusing on my tank instead of uh, on my infantry I still didn't do a great job at uh, suppressing here. Consciously going for running out of ammunition here. I want to get rid of that artillery. And now I really need to block this city because it's starting to buy new units. So I need to get my anti tank unit next to it. Unfortunately, I'm running out of fuel, it seems. Not sure what was up with that, why I didn't move next to it. Might have been out of fuel, I'm not sure. Fault Jumaker's doing their job. That they take damage, that's normal. They have to work without completely without any support. And that artillery shouldn't be a danger anymore soon. Putting that Falchi Mega on an airfield so I can drop them again. It seems I might actually still need my anti-tank units there, not sure. This time the artillery goes for my infantry. And this is what I was afraid of. Thankfully that was an auxiliary stuka, uh, stuck. And the AI is rearranging. To keep me from reaching the town, so it is still buying units there. Not what I like to see. But at least we got breast under control. Finally moving in the tank. And yes, my uh, Panzerjäger was running out of fuel. I just had to restock it. That's why I moved the Panzer in. Thankfully, I still have an artillery here that can protect it. And 
now that I'm under control. Already moving my other Falchimega forward to drop next turn behind the river. And another town under control. do a whole lot with my air force since there's still that anti-aircraft fire next to all the na the remaining targets and it's slowly getting dangerous for my uh, infantry there and also in the north there's too many units running around there still need to take care of that at some point and we're done here, so I can move up my artillery. That guy's now out of ammo. Fortunately, I couldn't take it out. But since it ran out of ammunition, it won't be dangerous either. And now I need to work on getting rid of these guns. That's one of them gone. Trying to reduce the uh, capacity of this artillery to defend. Every point that I can reduce it will be helpful. So this attack can have the maximum effectiveness. And as a nice side effect, I also ran it out, ran it out of ammunition. Now this attack would be dangerous, except that thing is now on the river, so I have a major bonus. I wasn't able to move next to the town though, so they would theoretically be able to still buy units there. And they did, but only one infantry, they're running out of prestige. It's actually doubtful that any of these units will be able to reach anything in time, but uh... Now I'm finally making some progress here. Finally I have a unit next to the city. Clearing out all these cheap conscripts units that the AI is still able to buy. And my Fachimaker is doing their job. Trying to attack everything I can with my Luftwaffe. They still need experience. Every point of experience they can get is valuable. And they really want to drive those guys out of the town. Now that artillery can of course be reached by one of these infantry, but uh, that one doesn't have any ammunition anymore. I think the other one can also reach it, but they're also down in strength, so it's not a big deal. I need to protect my tank somehow. Now this attack uh, is something that I actually wanted to happen. 
conscripts are not very good at attacking into artillery. They already have very low attack values to begin with and if you suppress a little bit of that there's basically nothing left. So current skips are never dangerous if uh, you can defend against them with artillery support. You shouldn't underestimate them otherwise though. Now that's that situation handled and now I'm running a little bit into a supply problem myself. I also need this airfield under my control. Taking that town, taking the airfield, they can take back the major city. At least they can move in and they will attack whenever they move in and that will destroy them outright so they won't even be able to take the town because they need to be able to survive the turn in there to take it back. And as you will see, there we go, it automatically attacks. Oh, it actually did take the field back, that's surprising. Didn't think that would work that way. But it doesn't matter, I can take it back. I thought they would have to finish the turn surviving to actually take the town, but uh, apparently that's not so. Not a big deal either way. And I want an infantry in this position because that uh, anti-tank gun, anti-aircraft, anti-tank gun is still very dangerous. It can attack the tank of course like this as well, but first of all it's protected by a Nibelwaffe and it would have to, me to move on to the river to do that and being attacked by on the river by my Nebelwerfer, by my Wolfram, and that would be devastating, so there it wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Still moving up these units, even though they probably don't have a chance to reach anything. Moved my big gun here, though, by train. Not actually sure that that would work, that you could transport something like this by train, but... Uh, I'm not actually sure how that thing was transported, to be honest. But we have it here. Not that we need it, but... Uh, it's kind of fun that we could one lo get one more shot in with it. And we managed to clear everything up one turn before the end. But of course we are going to wait until that turn is over. Until the last turn is over I mean. So we grab that little bit of ex uh, additional prestige. And then we move in. Move my artillery close even though it has no point at this point anymore. Let's show things look more cleanly. Resupplying a few things, and that's that. Cleared everything up, cleared the entire map, so that's that. And next time, we'll have to do this on Munchstein. That means five turns more, but also five more points on each unit. That will especially be painful for the air war. But uh, we'll see what happens. So until then, 
keep your heads up folks, I'll see you on the next one.